quantum computing, classical computing, at the end of the day, they don't exist just to be purely computational capabilities. They have to solve problems. And problems today are all based upon some form of big data. Classical computers are really at their level of almost uh, you know, complete competency in terms of what they can achieve computationally. Any of these large scale, uh, call it data intensive analytics problems, I can put those problems into a quantum computer and very efficiently and robustly get better answers and get them faster. Let's just take it from a purely a research and academic point of view. If you give the world access to these quantum computers that are truly capable of doing some really amazing things, and you put them in able hands of researchers that don't have to focus on programming the quantum computer, but access the capability of a quantum computer, there'll be advances in medicine, there'll be advances in medical technology, we might find cures for cancer, right? There's a whole host of things that we hope this type of technology will, will spur the development for. The real value that, that QCI was founded upon was to provide enterprise software platform with capability, technology capability inside of the platform to make quantum mechanics, quantum physics and physical systems available to the common use for the world. So you don't have to have a PhD in physics from university to be able to use a quantum computer. That's been the QCI model from its inception. We know that we are onto something, right? We know that uh, there are some near-term problems that we can help with, but uh, we also know that there are much, much bigger problems we can make significant contributions to. This is the most uh, exciting part. So now we really have the opportunity to build um, powerful hardware combined with uh, very advanced software so then can create a really nice system that uh, people can use, you know. So I'm very optimistic about uh, the quantum future. Yuping has a vision for, for quantum computing. He wants to bring quantum computing to the world because he wants to have a big impact on the social benefit of this world. And he knows that quantum computing can do that. Dr. Yuping Wang is a special individual. He has a vision for applying himself, his mind, his body, to doing something that is really, truly valuable. He is so passionate and committed about the science that he has such a strong vision of what this core technology can do. I believe that great leaders make great companies, and the company has just an incredibly hardworking overall management team and, and very loyal employee base that is just so excited about you know, creating quantum technologies and applications that will change the world. I think this is one of the most important things that the that QCI has going for the company. What I want to demonstrate to anybody who comes in contact with QCI is that we have real technology that can solve a problem today, a meaningful problem using quantum technologies. That is our foundation. Our mission is never going to change from that this company can actually take us into the future and build something that's really going to be meaningful. And I have no doubt with the team that we have, Yu Ping, Bill McGann, and the rest of the senior team and all the folks who are working for us today, we absolutely have that foundation to be able to do that.